The other thing, as I said, is microcredit. Uh, we have so far dispersed over 74 million rupees to the communities. And this money we give to them uh, with the Islamic principle of Murhabaha. And in that we do not give the cash to these people. We just buy them what they need for their enterprise. For example, if somebody wants to open a grocery shop, we go buy them the stuff uh, for that shop. If somebody wants to buy a buffalo for milking or for raising, for fattening, we buy a buffalo for them and hand over the buffalo to them uh, so that they do not misuse that money that we give them. Uh, so far, 6,515 people have benefited through our microcredit and here again women are represented because uh, as you see it on the screen 4,635 were our male borrowers and female about 1,880. Here again women are represented. This is what we had been doing up till now and it until very recently, uh, for 2007, we realized that to alleviate poverty, we really needed to look out of the box and do something else, more than just the skills development and microcredit. And now, uh, this year, we are starting some pilot projects uh, like joint ventures, one village, one product, improved NRM practices, and poultry farming. NRM practices are natural resource management. And here I would like to make a mention about one of the programs that we are doing in Rahim Yar Khan and it is IPM, Integrated Pest Management Program. This is uh, for cotton crop over there. And uh, in this program what we are trying to do is that uh, the crop is being raised without the use of pesticides. Uh, using the organic methods. There in Rahim Yar Khan, we've made a proper laboratory where we are raising uh, the friendly insects which are released on the crops and they go fight the, uh, the foes and that is how uh, th this crop is, uh, uh, you know, you don't need to use the pesticides on these crops. And eventually what will happen is that this cotton which will be produced will be much superior than the cotton that is produced with the use of pesticides because research has revealed that there are many problems that are coming up with the use of pesticides and the clothes that we wear, in fact, the effect of, the cancerous effect of the use of the pesticides goes to two generations. So, this is a pilot project that we have undertaken with the help of uh, the, United, uh, the UNDP uh, and we inshallah hope that if it gets successful this program will spread all over the country so far we have achieved quite a bit of success in this and we are very hopeful we'll have a big name in Pakistan when this spreads to all the cotton growing areas of Pakistan <laughs> health well in this we are doing primary preventive healthcare services basically because we are aligned with the Millennium Development Goals and in that the main focus is on the health of the mother and child and uh, it's all about reducing uh, the infant mortality rate, the maternal mortality rate and uh, uh, sanitation, uh, other uh, diseases, communicable and non-communicable diseases uh, so we have to uh, cater for those uh, and just to make it more effective we have added to it a bit of curative side also there is a formulary we have health centers uh, health community health centers in all the regions that we have and uh, there we have small laboratories we uh, carry out simple tests blood urine and with the strip method we are also screening people for uh, hepatitis. Uh, up till now, more than 17,000 people, uh, households have benefited and about 
120, over 122,000 people have benefited from this program of ours. These are some of the glimpses of our health programs. This takes me to community physical infrastructure. And here, we starting from installation of a hand pump, going on to making link roads, street pavements, drainage, water streams, going to the extent of making generation dams. And I can very proudly say that Human Development Foundation is the only organization other than the government, of course, which has gone to the extent of building dams. And we have built two dams in uh, a place like so. Uh, these are some of the things, some of the projects that we have done uh, in various uh, figures. Here again, community participates with 20% of their share. And here, one thing I would like to highlight, that this community physical infrastructure program that we are running, there is uh, entirely with the money that we get from Pakistan Poverty Deviation Fund. And uh, uh, inshallah, we uh, are planning to uh, do it with our own money also, because now we have uh, realized that uh, probably this is one thing which is that is very important uh, if we really have to uh, alleviate poverty because community infrastructure really means a lot and it means a lot for uh, anything that we need to do in uh, these communities that we are working with some of the glimpses of the work that we have done so far uh, you can see before and after. In fact, this is one of the link roads being constructed. Water channel before and the other one, the same one under construction. These are the two dams. Shahab Zai Dam and Maruf Zai Dam. Shahab Zai Dam uh, was built somewhere around 2000, 2001, and Mehfuz Zai Dam was built by us uh, in 2003, end of 2003, we completed it. Uh, Shahab Zai Dam was made with our own money, and in fact, it was made uh, when uh, in 2000, uh, there were drought conditions in Balochistan, and a uh, lot of money was raised here and was sent to Pakistan for rescue and relief operations. But then some money out of that was saved and uh, then people thought that we should do something uh, more uh, permanent for them and that is how we got into making the dam. And then Pakistan Poverty Elevation Fund, they saw our dam and they gave us the money to make another one and that is how we made this Mefuzi dam. These are some of the partners with whom we are working in Pakistan. Uh, 